Welcome back to the Stephen Nicole Show with producer Bert. Hello, my love. Hi, how are you? I am well. How are you? I, am I haven't doing seen great. you in a long time. I know. Well, a long time for us is what, like three, four days? Yeah. <laughs> Truthfully. You, what have you been doing the last few days? Well, I celebrated my 41st birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. I may have a surprise for you today for your birthday. Oh my, <laughs> that sounds fun. I think you're really going to enjoy it. <laughs> well, what else great. are we going to do? We're going to celebrate your birthday. We are. We're going to talk a little bit about Valentine's Day. Mm, happy Valentine's Day. Yes. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Full of love. If you're into that sort of thing. Yeah. If you're stag, you can just enjoy the chocolate and the food. Yeah, why not? It's fine. I, we don't really do anything for Valentine's Day, so I... It, it kind of just comes and goes for us. What about you guys? You know, I try to do something cute, but nothing. We've never done anything over the top, right? We try to do something cute for one another. We almost always get a sentimental card and a funny card. Oh, Yeah. But, you know, it's like two lizards that say, I want to love you forever. Or, you know, <laughs> those are my favorites. Right? We go shopping for Valentine's the day after. Oh, yeah. Because all do the candy is like 75% and off. And that's when we shop for each other for Valentine's. We do the same thing for Christmas. Mm -hmm. We shop the day after Christmas for yeah. one another. So it's when the best deals are out. <laughs> we're kind of cheap is what I'm saying. Hey, why not? So we're, we're going to do Valentine's yeah, Day, we're Super do, Bowl talk. Yeah, Super Bowl talk. We're going to talk mostly about commercials, maybe a little about the game. I mean, my crush won, right? <laughs> we both like froze it. <laughs> like, like, uh, are we going to do it? We are not going to talk about the halftime show. We probably won't. We definitely will not. I think we'll but stop congratulations that. to the country of Kansas. We are so Your proud of you. Your great country really is proud of you. Oh. You brought them nothing but joy. Oh. So to Kansas City, Kansas, and the country of Kansas, you. congratulations. Number one. Way to go, Patrick Mahomes the oh, second. Yeah. He is hot, by the way. When you told me that he was your crush, yeah. I'm like, no, I'd go with Jimmy Garoppolo. Watching the two of them side by side last night, oh no. I know. But I feel like he's too young for me. He's, he's so young. He's 24. <laughs> oh. But the way he talks and his little motions, and he's kind of a scrappy dappy you, and he just gets out there. I love him. One of the things we talked about last night while we were watching the Super Bowl was how for only being 24 years old, the level of maturity that man has yeah. to be able to think on his feet, to lead a team. I mean, the, the quarterback is usually the, the leader of the team, for lack of a better word. But that's impressive. 24 yeah. years old and you won a Super Bowl. Yeah. And they were getting down on him for plays and things that he wasn't doing right. And, you know, he got sacked and he wasn't getting out of the pocket enough. And to be 24 and to have enough composure to build your team back up rally and come yes. back and win. Uh, this is only the second time that Kansas City has ever won the Super Bowl. And I say good for them. This is fantastic. This is the only time? Second time. Second time. I was yep. going to say 50 years ago they won. They did against the Minnesota Vikings. They did. They did. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh -huh. How many uh, Super Bowls do they yeah. have? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, we could talk about that forever. But anyway, uh, instead we want to talk about commercials. We do. Let's go ahead and start with some of our favorites, and then we'll talk about the duds. Okay. Um, actually, we're going to backtrack. Okay. We're going to talk about how the Super Bowl opened first. Yes. So at the very beginning, there was an opening scene with this little boy running across the country, uh, catching a football, passing the football. It was really funny, but it was also very endearing. And then when he walked up to Hard Rock Stadium with that ball, walked through the tunnel, and he walked out onto that field, that was one of the most brilliant ways to open a Super Bowl. It actually reminded me of how they open Oscars with skits and songs. And then suddenly they're on stage. It, I, I even got a little teary. I mean, this kid comes out, you know, and everybody's like, take it to the house, kid. Take it to the house, kid. And then, you know, the lady is like, you know what to do. And oh. then he gets out there and he's like, yeah, yeah. I got oh, I got so I emotional. I get teary eyed. I mean, props to the NFL there because, you know, there's a controversy of parents not wanting to put their kids into football yeah. because of all the head injuries, the, the physical harm that happens to the body. And the NFL was like, yep, we're just going to make tonight all about the kids, which yeah. I thought was impressive. Yeah. I was impressed with the, um, there were a lot of messages throughout all of it, right? There were. And the, the strong sort of female 
power message goes throughout the whole thing. But before, and we talked about this a little bit in this sort of pre game show, there was a commercial for secret deodorant, right? All strength, no sweat. This is their like tagline, but they have a football game, you know, not, not a Super Bowl football game. It's like, you know, high school, college football game. And the kicker gets it and everyone's cheering. And then the kicker takes off the helmet and it is a woman. And her other female. The placeholder. Correct. Is also a female. Is also a female. And the crowd pauses in shock and then frickin' rallies and cheers for her. And it's, you know, saying, you know, whatever their tagline yeah. was, was fight inequality and. Kick inequality. Kick that was inequality. the name of the commercial. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We'll put a link down below so that you can uh, take a look at the commercials as we're talking about them. Uh, we may have Bert try to pull some magic and maybe run a few of our favorite commercials we'll see. as we're talking. And then you will get a chance to watch. We will come back, tell you what we think about it. Um, but before we get into the commercials, another thing I wanted to call it is the political message that the NFL put out referring to our country as being in a trying time right now. But we always find our way through. Yeah. <clears throat> to me, this was a nod by the NFL to address the current political strife as well as the kneeling controversy. Controversy kind of seems to be my word of the day. But, oh, we'll have to ding that one. Controversy, controversy, controversy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bring back the ticker, Bert. Anyway, they basically called themselves out and said, yep, oops, sorry, without having to say, yeah, oops, sorry. So props to you, NFL. Yeah, yeah. And then, do you want to talk about this one? Um. Yeah, Demi Lovato and her flawless... Oh national anthem performance. So she posted a tweet from 2010 that said, one day I will sing That'll the national over here. anthem at the Super Bowl. And here she is, 2020, singing the national anthem at the Super Bowl. I And looking good. Oh my gosh. And it was a flawless performance. She hit every note, you know, that then there was you know, all these spinoffs of people who have train wreck, like killed the national anthem in very negative ways. We could go on and on about the yeah. people that we dislike, but um, that was not her. She did a great job. What I loved about it is she kept it very traditional. Yes. She pushed her way through quickly. Unlike Alicia Keys, who had a four minute and 16 second version of the national anthem. Uh, way to go. Yeah. Props to you, Demi yeah, Lovato. Very happy. I'm starting to think that maybe we should uh, just quick, take a quick break and then come back and talk about commercials. So That's a good idea. We'll be right back. Okay. Hey, welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah. In case you didn't know, this is the Stephen Nicole show with producer Bert behind the camera there. And we are all things Super Bowl and Valentine's Day today. That is us. Love and football. Really sums us up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. We like the pomp and circumstance that comes with football we do. and the commercial. So yes. let's talk about the commercials. Go. Some of our favorites. Go. Uh, one of my favorites at the very beginning was Rocket Mortgage. <laughs> I, I don't even remember his name, but I know his last name's Momoa. Yeah. Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa. And he's like shedding all of his muscle uh, and his abs and his legs and he gets shorter. That was the cutest it's thing so cute. ever. And Lisa Bonet is his wife. He looked so scary. Oh, he's so he cute. Did. And he like takes his like hair off and he's like oh, bald. He's bald. And he's like lifting the curtain rod and he's like, help me take, take it, take it. Take it. it. <laughs> and she lifts it with one hand away. Oh, he is truly a very good looking oh, man. Yeah. That was really, really, really yeah. a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my next favorite was it started off really serious about how the world is broken. We have global warming. We have war. We have strife. We have controversy. And all these people gather around this gigantic hole because the earth is broken. In comes the Snicker bar. It fixes everything. <laughs> and they drop a gigantic uh, Snickers into yeah, the hole. Yeah. I was seriously waiting for the tagline to going anywhere to yeah. pop up. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the best part was at the end of the commercial, there were two millennials with a selfie stick standing in front of the huge <laughs> hole in the earth, and they fall in, and they're like, it's working! <laughs> Do you oh, want to take that it. one? So, the, the, um, no, uh, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> you never say no. no. I don't ever say okay, no. Okay, we're going to talk about the Hyundai Smart Car. Do it, Smart Car. Uh, Rachel Dratch is finally having her like yeah. breakout comeback between the Hyundai. It's, it's a it's a Smart Smart Pot Car. Yeah, Smart Pot Car. Uh, smart Pot Car. That was absolutely hysterical. But between this line of commercials she's putting out 
and the movie Wine Country, I feel yes, like Rachel Dratch, yes. we are going to start to see a lot of her in 2020, yeah. which I wouldn't have predicted until really the last like month or two. Yeah, but she did great. It was a great commercial for her. It was so it was good. Cute. It was good. The number of people who chose to do commercials that had a cause right? Or that had a thing, uh -huh. right? So, you know, our next one here is Oil of Olay. For every purchase, there was a dollar to Girls Who Code, right? In the STEM program and coding and robotics and getting girls involved in the sciences. Um, and there were a couple commercials that had that sort of feeling. You were telling me about the... No um, Genuine Draft. Correct. For every six pack you buy, they will create six square acres or six square feet of organic farmland. And then we also had another one, which was uh, the Hummer, the GMC oh, Hummer yes. commercial. I think they actually did a brilliant job. It actually, it started off with them creating a little bit of noise. This is what torque sounds like. This is what horses sound like. And then the commercial went silent. And that's what actually grabbed my attention. Yeah. The Super Bowl is so loud. The commercials are loud. There's so much happening that the fact someone went completely silent and then advertised the GMC Hummer all electric, zero emissions coming soon. Yeah, catches your Brilliant. attention. It totally makes you zone in and focus. Uh, let's talk about Cool Ranch Doritos, Little Nas X, and uh, Sam Elliott doing their dance off duel. <laughs> Sam Elliott's mustache. So my gut instinct is is poor Sam Elliott. Why? But then I'm also like. Oh, that was it's so brilliant! Funny. Why was he brilliant? Do it? And of course, the little like with Billy Ray playing at the end, but uh, it was I a very it. cute commercial. I think Lil Nas X is hot. There's, I'm, I'm not into the whole hip hop thing, but there is something about that boy that I'm like, mm, dark chocolate looks good. If he could release one other something that will be worthwhile. Oh, I don't even know the song he released. I'm going to take my horse down to Old Town Road. Old Town Road. I'm gonna, he wanted to record a version with Dolly, and she said no. Of course she did. I, I don't get it. These are I my opinions, even... not everyone's opinion. He's also amazing. He's the first uh, African-American country music singer who comes out as openly gay. I give him that part is mad cool. props for who he is and his story. You know, uh, Gail King... Oprah's bestie did this like CBS behind the Grammys people. And, and it did make me uh, like him a little more than, than on the surface, right? His story, he bought the music for that for $10 that he literally had scrapped together. That song coming out with Billy Ray just got him in the forefront of all of us, right? It becomes the song of the year, but he had been singing that song for year, two years, right? He just, finally broke into the market when he asked these other people to come on with him. It makes it sound like I'm a, his biggest fan. I want to see him do something else. I want to see him not just be owned by this one song, but that's my opinion. Nicole has a crush on him is what that means. So condense all that down <laughs> to hashtag Nicole has a crush. Hashtag little love Nicole. <laughs> What's the next one? On, oh, let's talk about this one. The Groundhog Stay Jeep commercial with Bill Murray. That was brilliant. It could have been annoying, and it wasn't. It uh -huh. was really cute, where he's doing the whack-a-mole, and then he's like, sorry, no offense, <laughs> right? And then he's like, got him in the baby carrier, and they're skiing, and he's like, I don't know where I'm going. I thought I was supposed to be following you, and he keeps putting him in the Jeep. It's very cute. No day is the same in a Jeep. No, I, it was yes. a, I thought that was very I clever. I did, too. It was nice. Now, we're actually going to run this commercial, and then when we're done running it, we will come back and talk about what we think. Yes. See you in just a bit. Good. We're still watching it. Should we watch it so we can talk about it? The Google one? Mm -hmm. It gets me a little teared up. Ooh, oh my God. No, I'm not putting the Google ads in our show. Hell to the no. We're putting the you Google. just put like a clip of it. Like a little You're tiny You're putting the snip. Google commercial in. No. <laughs> yes, you are. Nope. We don't yes. want Google to come after us. Right? They Especially won't come after us. Our show goes on YouTube. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's just owned by Google. I'm just going to put a big thing that says insert google commercial here yes <laughs> that's all yes. gonna see. no you're not oh we didn't talk about ellen and portia de rossi and Por 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 portia de rossi and i clearly stutter now I, that's a new thing that's happening in 2020 it happens to everybody. oh i came up with my word i should tell people that i have Ooh, my word will. not words it's not even playing uh, that we know about Screw it. it i'll fake emotion google yeah I, you know where there I you go 
pantomime the whole commercial together. Do a oh, little theater good, representation. Do you know where I was trying to watch it? Go on. F- YouTube. <laughs> Google owns YouTube? Yes. Then they'll allow their own commercial to play. Yes, they will. Well, we really hope you enjoyed the commercial now that you got to see that whole back and forth. Let's just move on. Welcome back. He's going to sh- remember everything about Loretta. Loreline. Lori Lane. I don't even, at this point, it was my winner, winner, chicken dinner that I'll remember that commercial. But because we just went on this huge tangent and Bert won't give me my way, we're moving on. We're done. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back. We're here. We're here. We're queer. Get used to it. I'm well, not, one of us is. I'm a, I'm a lover of all. <laughs> um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some stats I pulled. Very official like. Okay, this just let's in do from this. the newsroom. Uh, I so I am easily influenced by people that I see on the interwebs, right? And so I pulled some research that was talking about Instagram influencer marketing stats just in 2019. Okay, so it said that Instagram is the fastest growing social network in 2019. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. 93% of influencer marketing campaigns use Instagram. This is huge. 22% of 18 to 34 year olds, their largest purchasing decisions have all been shaped by an online influencer's endorsement. Jeez. Right? That's huge. You believe an online influencer more than you believe a commercial, which is what we've been talking about this whole time. Because it's real people using the product. It's real people. And you suddenly want what they want. You want to feel or have the same reaction or the same result as what you see someone who appears more real than what someone does on camera, right? I mean, they're on camera, but it's Mm -hmm. like a different feel. And and as a reminder, I'm on Instagram or we're on Instagram. I still don't know how to use it. Oh, that could be an actual episode one day of you teaching me and watching me throw my hands up. I would love it. That and Snapchat, I can't figure them out. Oh, I love them both. Speaking of influencing, I was influenced by something oh. for your birthday. Oh, my. It was a trending thing on the Amazons. I'm quite excited. I, I didn't see it on Instagram. I actually saw it on Facebook. Okay. So here it's nicely wrapped for oh you. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. I'm excited and nervous all at the same time. I think you're actually going to know what it oh, is when you see it. My have gosh. you heard of it before you pull it out? Yes. And have you seen it on the Facebook or Instagram? I have. Were you possibly influenced to purchase it yourself? I bought two of them. Did you yes, really? I did. Oh my God. <laughs> this is now my third chicken purse. A rubber chicken purse. This is the cutest. And I bought two of you them. Got to oh be my kidding gosh. Me. They're so cute. No way. I totally did. Because I. Do you have this one? I bought two of the exact same ones. Steve, this is oh so cute. Oh my God. Look at this. Real rubber chicken purse. <sighs> it's so cute. I tried. It blew up the internet, but I was so influenced that I bought two of my very own. Well, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> beep, Happy beep, 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 beep. birthday. Thank you so much. This is, <laughs> you you know welcome. me so well. You knew. It's made by Cheek Chic. Chic. Or Chick Q. Chick Okay, that's cute. Chic. I stuffed oh, it with so what it came in so that it would be fluffy because like when it comes, chicken. it's all flat. Ooh, but a cute fat I hope chicken. you like Well, I, I know you it. like it since it's your third you one. You know I love it. What oh, are you going to do with the other two? Well, I actually have a chicken feeder. Um, that is in my garden. Okay. And then I plant flowers in it that come out of the front of the chicken feeder. So I have it oh. mounted on my fence. And these little babies with a pot inside and a red geranium coming out the top is so going to be like the cutest thing ever. Will you like carry this around the Mall of America for of me? Of course I would. Oh, Absolutely. Good. We're going to have to take video of her, like, pulling it out at the store. And yeah, can we go to, like, coach? Of course <laughs> and we be can. like, I'd Excuse like to me. get a, do you have any uh, wrislets or, you know, <laughs> coin purses that I could put in here? Maybe a little chicken. Stuff my chicken. I'd like to put it in my chicken. Well, I'm happy Thank to you. know we have the same taste. We do. You Happy know me birthday. so well. Thank you. Mm. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'll put it right down here. Let's just jump right into the next topic since we have time. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, Danish babies sleeping outside. 
Have you heard of this? I have not, and it seems weird to me. So apparently, there was this thing I read: how a lot of Danish people believe that having their babies sleep outside in the colder weather helps them and their immune system. Okay, so makes sense. The thought is in the winter time, and they're doing this up to zero degrees Fahrenheit. They're wrapping their babies and Why? putting them. Even daycares have. Outdoor patio areas that they're pushing the strollers with the babies wrapped up, and that's where nap time takes place. So their thought is, in the winter time, there's more colds, there's more viruses. Kids are kind of trapped inside in like the moist, germy area. It is actually a brilliant idea yeah. when you think about it. Yeah, and getting them outside, they have done studies saying it helps them sleep better, more sound for longer, and that their uh, children are not getting sick as often in a daycare or like preschool environment when they're taking naps. Well, think of even adults. We're told you have to be outside 30 minutes a day yeah. and that fresh air gets us tired. Yeah. We sleep better the more we're outside. So it actually makes sense to me. I would love to see the science behind me it. Me too. I'd like to hear a little more research on this. Yeah. The stats of, are they really healthier because they right. do this? Yeah. That's where producer Burke comes in and he's going to post a link to where we can go he find that will. information. Yeah. You know, I love how we're just giving him more and more and more work this episode. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah. We're going to have to take a quick break because we're going to run to the kitchen. And after the kitchen, we're going to come back and do a quick little wrap up. So we will be right back. See you in a bit. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? C'est soir. soir. We is cooking in the kitchen ah, today. Fresh. Welcome back to the kitchen, ladies Welcome and gentlemen. Welcome back to the kitchen. What the hell are we doing in here? I thought... That cooking in a French style felt very for lovers. French is for lovers. Ooh la la, ratatouille. Ah uh, oui, oui, oui. Do you like croissant? Ah uh, oui. Uh, are we going to uh, make croissant? Ah uh, oui, voulez-vous coucher We are going moi? to cut these vis-a-vis. -vis. Yes, let me tell you what we're going to I have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. But yet I'm all full of flour. We are going to make... Heart hand pies. I feel like you need to go on the other side. All right. We are going to make heart hand pies. But now my Valentine's head's stuck Day. on the lamp. This is very strange. So we're going to make heart hand pies today. And so I picked up some really cute heart cookie cutters. Of course. And I've got some Pillsbury pie crusts. Okay, I let these come to room temperature. We have preheated the oven to 425. We've rolled these out on a floured surface. So we are each gonna do four, not of that, of this one, uh, on our, and if you can get more than four, that's great. You know what we should put in these? What? A little bit of you, a little bit of Brie. <gasps> Brie would be an excellent addition. Oh, I love it. So, you have an odd number there. I do have five, so you can do five also. And then we are going to take these little babies and we could always roll these out, right? And make a few more. But for the show, you can see we've got these cute little dough hearts. We're gonna put them on, and I've got a little sill pad, so we're gonna do them on our cookie sheet with a nice little sill pad. Or you could always spray it with some Pam or do some parchment paper. And then we're gonna fill these cute little hearts. So yours will be the toppers, so we won't put those on yet. So I got some strawberry preserves. And I'm gonna take strawberry preserves, give it a little stir, and in the inside of each one of these cute little pie crust hearts, I'm gonna do a little dollop of some strawberry preserves. Now, not too many because I don't want it oozing out all over. I mean, yes, you'll probably have some that will ooze, but we don't need too much. And I'll be right back. Steve will be right back as he's getting us an egg because we're going to egg wash the top of these when we seal them. So we're going to put a little strawberry preserve in the center. Again, raspberry, brie cheese, any one of those would be great. So then you're going to take Did your you other- Did you say brie? I said brie! Voila! Which is French. So then we're going to take For the here other is. heart. Oh, don't cover them all yet. I won't. We we'll have to leave put a brie couple cheese. with a little brie. And we're going to top them. Oh dear. Okay, oh dear. You don't need a new spoon for the brie. No, we just need to put this in a plastic baggie when we're done. All right, we'll put a little brie inside. 
There we go. Do this one because it has less berry because I really need to get the top on there. Too tall. Less brie. There we go. And I'm going to put the top on here and see we really need skinny brie. Brie's getting skinnier. And so then, am I, if you haven't noticed, I'm down 10 pounds. Oh, Steve, we are so proud of you. Nicole noticed it right away when she walked in today. She did. That's she awkward. Did. It was awkward. What do I do with this? Um, could you put it in a bowl and whip it a little? Of course I can. So we're putting the tops on our little hearts, not the shell, please. Did you see that? I saw that. Okay. Then you can see I got this bamboo skewer that you would use for a shish kebab. <clears throat> and then we're going to take that and we're going to just make some little pokes on the outside of our hearts. This is for decoration more so, but it also is going to help us seal them together. That is really... Hey, did you find those in the cupboard? These are my own. Oh. This is probably really loud. I am sealing our little edges. We don't have a brush. I have a paintbrush in the garage. Would that work? Oh, no. We'll just Clean. use the back of a spoon. Oh. So, cutely making these little spoons. Marks are on the outside. You can see how like adorably cute these little pillow hearts are. So we're gonna put a little egg wash on them. Then we're gonna stick them in the oven. And I think they bake for about mm, five to seven minutes. And when you come back, we're gonna show you how adorably cute these Valentine treats are going to be. See you in a bit. Okay, please. Nicole, did you forget something? I did. Right after you get your egg wash on there, and when they're all wet and ready, you're gonna want to take some sanding sugar. Um, I bought some turbino vino sugar, which I think will be- It's French. Turbinato sugar. And I'm just gonna glisten the top so that these little babies are sweet and kind of crunchy with sugar on the top. It's gonna be so yummy. So hit these up with a little bit, pop them in the oven. And when we come right back. Again. Again, we'll show you how delicious they are. See you in a bit. Hey, welcome back. Well, we just pulled our adorable ham pies out of they the oven. They turned out really well. They're so cute. These cute little strawberry and brie ham pies. Strawberry. Strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. That's so, awesome. Anyway, uh, these make a really cute, and I think, you know. You could even do this with the kids. You could, because it's you know, like if a, next, uh, this is a, a real idea. So yeah. next year, if you're afraid to let your kids watch the Super Bowl halftime show, you could do something like this in the kitchen Let's during halftime. <laughs> it's like an alternative to a really adorable Pop-Tart. <laughs> Way cute. Anyway, we're gonna give them a little tasty schmasty and see how they are. And uh, we hope that you enjoyed our kitchen segment as much as we enjoyed making something with you. I'm gonna be reaching in front of you. This is awkward. This is only sort of awkward. Kind of really awkward. I hope this one has brie. It's a crapshoot. Ooh, it does. Ooh, it's hot and it blazes. Don't just, sh don't just jam it in your okay, mouth. Okay, not jamming. I typically don't jam hot stuff in my mouth. Holy cannoli, that strawberry is hot. Yep, not happening. Mm, also tasty, delicious. so good. So, wow, so good. That was so yummy. So, mm. so great. Wow. So when you're in the mood for love, because I'm in the mood for love. Simply because you're near me. And Brie. We hope that you uh, <sighs> think of us and make some cute little heart-shaped strawberry ham pies. And remember, we love you. We love us. And we love Brie. Bye, guys. Well, welcome back. We hope you enjoyed our uh, cooking. It was a lot of fun. It was. You, you always come up with the most creative things for us to do. Thank you. You were a great Frenchman. I try. Yes. I've been practicing. Yeah. So, you know, basically, whether you are 
with your significant other on Valentine's Day, whether you are spending it with family, whether you are spending it with friends, or even if you are alone, reach out to those who love you and those you love and uh, enjoy the holiday. It is a fun holiday. It is a fun I holiday. I thoroughly enjoy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it, it's all the feel good that comes with it the flowers and the candy and the chocolate covered strawberries. <gasps> Ooh, we could do that in our next episode. Ooh, that's a good idea. I love Maybe we could melt the chocolate fruit. in an instant pot. Oh, hell no, we're not. That would be so much fun. It sure would if we want to explode my house. Well, let's do it. Oh, dear God. Okay. All right. Well, we will be back in about a week. Yeah. Until then. Love you. Love us. Love Brie. Sure. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. We love you. God, Bert. Just give him his way. <laughs> we just just say you will and don't here. do it later. Just follow along, Bert. Social cues. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time for a small break. We need to have a I love that I just had a temper tantrum. I'm going to put in, in, I'm gonna put in <laughs> from home. <laughs> In front of a green screen thing, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> and this is the point of the video where <laughs> Steven, Steven wanted a commercial, mine. and I said, I no. I can be a big baby. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. Google will play its own YouTube. Yes, you are. We can do it really quick. No, not happening. <laughs> Me. Is it? Oh! <laughs> now it's not the breed dance, it's that my mouth is on fire dance. Mm -hmm. This mouth is on fire! <laughs> fire, fire. <laughs>